Hello. This class will talk about adjusting a customer's card using the card setup wizard, or excuse me, using the card adjust wizard. So under the header, Aloha Stored Value, you see card adjust wizard, which is what I will click on. In here, you'll see the card number that you will enter in the customer's 14-digit uh, card number. So you will take a customer's card, and then you'll hit View, kind of similar to the um, Aloha uh, card lookup. And it's telling me here I need to enter in 14 digits. So let me just add another zero in there and hit View. The current balance box is 30 here. This is, it's not grayed out, but you can't change it from here. You actually have to use the adjustment tool here in the middle. But essentially, you enter in the customer's 14-digit card number, and you hit View. The current balance of that card will appear in that box. And again, you can't change it from here. You actually have to adjust it. Um, but this is the balance that will match the card lookup wizard. So under the card adjust wizard, you're actually adjusting the customer's card balance. They had a bad experience. Um, maybe they lost their card, so you're transferring their balance from one card to another. The adjustment reason here, um, it could be uh, food was spilt. Uh, food spilled all over them. Um, you could say um, lost reservation, something like that. Um, any any of the reasons that you uh, that you come across within your restaurant, so you could put the adjustment reason here. The desired card balance. Now, this particular field you want to be careful with. Okay, the adjustment reason is required. The desired card balance is required. So, if you're going through this up front, you're saying, okay, um, I'm going to give them five extra dollars because we adjust, we lost a reservation. All right. Well, you enter in five here. You look in here once you uh, click outside the box. The adjustment amount is a negative twenty-five dollars. This is not something that you want to do. That's why there's a plus and a negative here on your adjust button. But before you actually hit the adjust button, I mean, I can hit it here, and it'll give me one final confirmation. I say, no, 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 it's not what I want to do. Your desired card balance, I entered in $5. That's what my card balance is going to be. That's what the system is doing, is taking away $25 from the customer. So that's not what you want to do. So your desired card balance, essentially what you're going to do is take, like on a calculator in your head, okay, so their current balance is 30. I want to give them $5 because we lost their reservation. So now their desired card balance is going to be $35. Okay, and I clicked outside the box there. The adjusted amount is now a positive $5. Okay, that's what you want to do. So again, before you hit that adjust button, make sure that your adjustment amount is correct. Desired card balance. What do you want the ending balance to be? Okay, this is your new card balance right here. You always get an option to charge this um, manual adjustment to a particular location. Okay, these are all again all your stores from site setup. Adjusted by. It will fill in whoever logged into the website. It will fill in the person's name. All right, so they can't blame this adjustment on anyone else. That's why it's imperative that you keep your login and password to yourself. All right. The adjustment date, again, will default to the current date of business. Um, you can, you know, of course, change that if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and do some kind of adjustment that maybe it didn't take place until in the future, you could do something like that. But it will default to the current date of business here. And then your adjustment.